You know us by now. We're always looking for new opportunities in healthcare, especially the smaller, indeedly more speculative stocks. They tend to be very high risk and high reward. Tonight, I've got another one for you. It's called Natero, which is the fast-growing diagnostics company focused on DNA analysis. Right now, they sell all kinds of prenatal tests, both for prospective parents and for embryos. For example, they help screen for rare genetic abnormalities that you really might not want to pass into your children. But that's not why Natero's caught fire. Uh Uh-uh, it's up more than 160% for 2019, even as it's recently pulled back a few bucks from its all-time highs. No, investors are excited because the company's testing its diagnostic technology in what we call the liquid biopsy space, with the goal of getting into the cancer screening business. If they can deliver that, I think the stock might have much more upside. So let's take a closer look with Steve Chapman, the president and CEO of Natera, to learn more about his company and where it is headed. Mr. Chapman, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. All right, first time on Mad Money, so why don't you give people the overview of what you do? Because you have, I have to admit, you've got three things that are probably some of the most exciting things I've heard in medicine right now. Yeah, thanks, Jim. So the mission of Natera is to change the way disease is managed worldwide. And we do that through the application of a proprietary technology that can accurately detect extremely tiny quantities of DNA. So the first application of that was in reproductive health, where we're now the market leader in non-invasive prenatal testing, and we're doing nearly $300 million in revenue this year. So we've now taken the same technology and applied it to oncology to look at circulating tumor DNA to detect cancer recurrence earlier than imaging, and we've applied it to organ rejection, where we're looking at uh, detecting uh, rejection after a patient has had a kidney transplant. So we're really excited about these big opportunities. Okay, so you talked about this being uh, a transformational quarter. Uh, What's changed this year to drive your business? 165% gain for the shares. Wow. Yeah, so we've continued to grow our core reproductive health business. Mm -hmm. Um, In Q3, we grew around uh, 20% in both revenue and volume year on year. And, you know, that's based on really having a great technology and a very large market opportunity ahead of us. So despite the performance we've had, the um, NIPT market today is only around 15 to 20 percent penetrated. So uh, we're doing really well there. But we also had very significant advancements forward in our oncology business, where we've now received a draft coverage decision from Medicare to use our test in all stage two and three colorectal cancer patients to detect recurrence. And that would be around a million tests per year in the United States, which is an enormous opportunity. Okay, so when I first saw that, we, yeah. we had been a, a big fan of exact sciences, color guard. I mean, is there, do you th- it, there, it is a kind of messy way to be able to test, so to speak, but <laughs> it, it, the doctors like it. One, one day, are we going to just you know, get a drop of blood uh, and you're going to tell us what we have? Yeah, I think it's possible. So, you do? Uh, you what, really think it's possible? What exact science is doing is looking at asymptomatic screening, so detecting uh, patients that have colorectal cancer that have no other physical symptoms. Right. What we're doing is a little bit different. So every year there's a, about 150,000 patients that are diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and there's a million patients that are living in remission of colorectal cancer. Oh, okay. So 30 to 40 percent of those patients will recur within the first five years. What we're doing is we're trying to detect the recurrence before you can see it on imaging so that we can save the patient's lives. Unfortunately, 85 percent of patients that have recurrent colorectal, colorectal cancer are diagnosed too late to do surgery with curative intent. We've now shown in studies that we can detect recurrent colorectal cancer around eight months before imaging oh, that's alone. Incredible. And, and on the kidney rejection, I mean, uh, couldn't that be uh, every organ at one point you might be able to figure that out? Yeah, so in kidney rejection, it's also it's another very large opportunity. Yeah. Uh, combined, uh, oncology and, and organ transplant are around $17 billion opportunities. So um, with a kidney transplant, there's around 200,000 patients that are living with a kidney transplant. And unfortunately, around 30% of them will lose their organ within the first five years and 50% within the first 10 years. So with our test, we're looking at circulating uh, fragments of DNA that come from the uh, donor organ, and we can use that to detect rejection much better than the existing standards of care. Now, these uh, applications, I am sure, actually uh, in China, where they have... 500,000 person hospitals must be uh, working with you. Yeah, so we've actually had uh, quite a bit of interest from China. So earlier this year, we signed a partnership with the Beijing Genomics Institute uh, for $50 million, where we're transferring our technology there to be used uh, in the oncology space. So there's four times as many cancer patients in China as there are in the United States. So we're really excited about uh, the chance to work with the market leader there and bring our technology to China. Let me ask you, are you worried about intellectual property theft? So, uh, of course, that's something I think that every company thinks about. Right. 
Um, we've done a lot of things to protect our intellectual property, so we have more than 80 issued and allowed patents. In fact, last year, we filed, uh, this year, excuse me, we filed more than 100 patents. So we feel like we're in a very strong position. Now, when I see a company like yours, we have had a series of companies that one day they're up 100 percent because uh, Roche decided to buy them or something. I imagine with your different, three different technologies, people do want to buy your company. Do you just want to stay independent? Yeah, so we're in a really amazing position right now. So in the 10 years that I've been with Natera, I've never been more excited about the growth that we have ahead of us. So in the next six to nine months, we're going to launch our new oncology products and our new organ transplant products. So I think that there's a lot of room to grow um, in these big market opportunities. So we're really excited about and that. I just want to say, on the, on the DNA uh, for uh, parents expecting, yep. what are some of the people who get, get flagged that you know that there could be a, a, a problem down the road? Yep. So um, there's multiple different tests that we offer in the reproductive health space. The most well-known test is called Panorama, where we're looking at cell-free DNA that comes from the fetus. So it actually comes from the mother's placenta. And we can use that to look at chromosomal abnormalities and severe health conditions that are present at about a one in 400 pregnancies overall. So for now, for the first time, around nine weeks of pregnancy, we can do a simple blood draw from the wow. mother and look at these disorders. Now, it's really important because we've improved the detection for these disorders significantly over what was available f before, but we've also reduced the amount of unnecessary invasive procedures like an amniocentesis right. uh, that are required. So previously, 19 out of 20 women that received an amniocentesis did not, in fact, need that procedure. Ah. Now, with our test, we've reduced that significantly so that the right patients are getting the, the right treatment. Well, you guys are doing so many great things. So I mean, every one of these approvals, I want you to come back on. Because I think your company's fascinating, the people who watch our show. Good. Thank you, Jim. Okay, that's Steve yeah. Chapman. He's the president and CEO of Natera. I hope you're as interested in this company as I was. I, I was kind of blown away by all the terrific things that they're doing. Stick with Kramer. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.